The Education Department at Green Mountain College is a rigorous, engaged program which prepares its students to competently enter the classroom and teach students of varied needs and interests. Green Mountain College offers six areas of licensure for Vermont. They include Art K-12, Elementary Education, Elementary Education with Special Education Endorsement, Secondary English, Secondary History, and Secondary Science. The Education Department also offers a minor in Education and Environmental Education. It is even the second largest major at Green Mountain College. Students come to the Education Department for several reasons. Because when I came and visited um, on one of the orientation days, I would actually met with like a professor. Um, and they seemed really, really welcoming, opposed to other colleges and universities that I had visited. And they really seemed like they were supportive and really interested in who I am as a person, opposed to um, kind of like what I have to offer academically. They were really interested in how and why I wanted to become a teacher. I chose the education department here because it's, it's such a small school that I felt like they could really focus on like individual needs, like what each student needs to become the best teacher that they could. Uh, I was, when I was looking for colleges, I knew that I wanted to be a history secondary ed major. But most of the colleges I was looking at, um, you either had to be like a history major and then go into a fifth year and get accredited in education, or you had to be an education major and then um, do like a history minor, or it, anything I looked at was getting into like a master's or a fifth year program. But at, at GMC, I'm able to take all these high level history courses and um, really specific history courses, and at the same time be working in the schools and be taking education classes. Students have the advantage of gaining several field experiences throughout their course of study. These experiences give them an insider's perspective on teaching and serve to give students the benefit of working in classrooms at multiple instructional levels. Most students begin their field experience during their first year. Several education classes also have a service learning component and unstructured field experiences built in. A unique program is the elementary education with special education endorsement. It's a special education endorsement, which means that students take the full suite of courses that are required uh, to become certified as an elementary level teacher, and then they take extra coursework, significant, a significant amount of extra coursework, um, to qualify them for the special education endorsement. And the coursework that is extra involves things uh, such as uh, working with children who have various ex exceptionalities, uh, managing classrooms, uh, developing curriculum and instruction that's appropriate for kids with special needs. There were many times uh, in years past when I was uh, responsible for hiring teachers. And if I had a teacher who was qualified in regular ed and special ed, that teacher always had the upper hand in getting hired. Another option in the educational department is the environmental education minor. This program is open to all students and is a concentration in the environmental studies program. The education department talks about how to teach in general, so here's specific activities um, and methods that are appropriate for teaching outdoors um, and in non-formal settings. It also helps you have something to contribute to the community that you eventually settle in. So you might never become a professional environmental educator or do that for a living, but you might decide to volunteer at your local schools or with a local nonprofit because you have this interest in the environment and you want to make the planet a better place. Several opportunities exist for students to get involved in the local area schools. One of them is DREAM, a nonprofit mentoring program that pairs college students and children living in subsidized housing developments in Vermont. DREAM combines best practices for both mentoring and community development programs to create a unique experience for the college students and the children. America Reads is a program that gets college students in the classroom reading with students. Education Club is a club that, like DREAM, unites Green Mountain College and Fultney Elementary and High School. The Education Club is currently running a program called Adopt a Teacher. The club connects with a new teacher and assists them with things like bulletin boards and math flashcards. The education department as a whole has so many different strengths. We have people who have been involved in the real world in practically every area of education. We bring a, a lot of strengths uh, to our classes and usually pretty much what one person isn't able to uh, answer, another person in our department is an expert in. The staff and the other people in the education department, the staff is really 
really helpful and friendly and just and funny and we have a lot of fun and the other majors are the, the other people in the major are really great and uh, and the, the environment of GMC is really nice it's beautiful I love to be outdoors and it's just a beautiful place to be it's a lot of fun I've been at Green Mountain this is my sixth year and I came here because of its environmental focus being an environmental educator that makes sense um, but the thing that's really interested me about this campus is the fact that people from all different disciplines think about the environment. And so it's not just the science of the environment and it's not just how to teach about the environment. We think about environmental ethics and we think about managing resources and people and sociology and, and we look at the environment from a wide range of disciplines. And our education majors get the traditional education courses. You get field experience, you get methods courses on how to teach social studies and science or secondary English, um, as you would at any other school. But you get the environmental liberal arts, which grounds you in understanding our impact on the planet, which is vital, I think, for most people to understand today. But you also get a liberal arts concentration. As an elementary ed major, you have to pick an area where you're gonna focus. And as a liberal arts college, um, we value that interdisciplinary, diverse knowledge. Um, just that you are able to critically think about and analyze a variety of issues. And I think that sets apart our education majors. I think they don't come out as just knowing how to teach, but they know how to think about teaching. Um, and I think that's unique to our school. And they think about teaching in relationship to the social economic sustainability of our planet. Both being a liberal arts school and having the environmental focus does provide education majors with something unique.